Hello. Can you guys hear me? Cool. So good evening, everyone. I'm Harsh Kumar, product lead at ServiceNow. And I'm going to talk about digital end user experience product. Cool. Um, before I get started with the digital end user experience and what it is and so on and so forth, I want to talk about ServiceNow, right? And our Now platform and all workflows. What is basically it's a now, what is Now platform, right? When you look at most modern enterprise, they are, the data is unstructured, and also the data is in different silo systems. What Now platforms allow you is to basically have that work that flows across your enterprise. Now, the main workflow that we are all concerned about is service operation workflow. Service operation workflow is essential to empower your service desk with the right contextual data, right incident, right alert, and right operational know-how to help them to close that incident and remediate that incident. Right? Now, when you look at digital end user experience, brings that operational know-how to your service desk to help them identify the issues proactively and remediate that issue. Now, what is digital end user experience is all about? So digital end user experience is a product that IT deploys on the end user device to monitor application, network, and the device itself. It helps IT to be proactively detecting issues to identify the problems and remediate the issue before it causes downtime and impact employee productivity. Now, how many of you today, um, or maybe in the last 14 days, had like a Zoom crash or a VPN issue, or your battery uh, runs out of, like, or discharged with 100% charge? Any issues that you have with your laptop that you had faced in the last 14 days to a month that where you had a Zoom crash or a Teams crash or any of the, any of the application issues? One, two, three, four, five, yep, a lot of people. Did IT reach out to you on the issue? Anybody? No? IT doesn't have any visibility on what's happening on your laptop or your device, right? IT doesn't even know what's happening as of, your, as of now on your device. There can be an application crash. You might be presenting, as I was presenting, there can be an application crash for PowerPoint right now, and it might go off. IT doesn't know, IT doesn't have any visibility into the issue, number one. And number two is, IT is always focused on delivering the services to employees. IT is not focused on how that service is being consumed by the employees, right? Now, when you look at IT, IT is always like, you know, hey, firefighting. They're always reactive, right? And they, they know the issues when an employee complains about that issue. That's a challenge. How can IT be proactive? Right? And another problem is basically employee empathy. IT has never been close to employees. I say that because, let's say, me as an employee of ServiceNow, in order for me to raise a request in ServiceNow, let's say IT request, I have to go to my Okta, I have to do two-step verification, I have to go to my employee portal, I have to search for the catalog, I have to fill the form, then submit. Basically, I made eight to 10 clicks just to submit one request. It's a problem that no, IT has not even identified that employees are having this issue. Now with DEX, you will, your employees can submit requests within two clicks. And I'll show you how. Now with digital end user experience product suite, uh, you will get two products. One is desktop assistant product, and the second product is ADH product. Desktop assistant product is a product that is mainly catered towards your employees. It helps employees to have a self-service. It helps employees to troubleshoot issues. It helps employees to get notified on the issues. It also employs, it allows employees to create a request with two clicks. Now the second product is basically the application and device health product. This product helps your IT to proactively identify issues from the employee's laptop. It's a product that monitors the network, the, the device, and the application that runs on the device. And when I say monitor, it basically collects metrics. It collects different metrics for apps, and it collects different device metrics so that you can basically create alert from that system, and you can proactively detect and identify issues that the employees are facing. 
right? Now, who can use this product, ADH product? ADH product is mainly catered towards IT personas. It's mainly catered towards IT workplace agent, IT service desk agents, IT support agents, and so on and so forth. Now, let's get to the vision demo. Before I get into the vision demo, I want to introduce you to uh, one of my um, personas, like few personas here from Acme Support. I'm just, I'm just going to take a simple example here called Acme Support. Imagine Acme Support is a, a big enterprise company with 250,000 employees. And I'm introducing you with three personas. One is Amanda Smith. Amanda Smith is an IT workplace agent. She is responsible for um, managing and maintaining all the end user devices. Next is Ken. Ken is an employee. He is basically is a VIP employee. And next is Jason Brown. Jason Brown is a L2 support agent responsible for deep level triage on incidents and issues associated with employees. Now let's get to the demo of the product. Cool. So as I mentioned, Jason Brown. Uh, Jason Brown, let's take an uh, uh, use case here. What Jason Brown do is basically is an L2 support agent. He goes to service operations workspace. Every day he starts his morning by going here, looking at the incident queue that has come. He basically looks at the queue and he sees, hey, there is an incident from Ken. He basically, Ken says, hey, there is a Zoom crash happening on my laptop. And it is a critical incident because it's a crash. As I mentioned, Ken is a VIP employee. Right? Now, what did Jason do? Jason basically goes to this incident. He looks at that incident. Incident says, I'm having a trouble with my Zoom. It keeps crashing. I did mandatory Mac upgrade this morning, and now my Zoom keeps crashing after a few minutes. Please help. What would Jason do in this case? Jason would basically do a live support with Ken and say, hey, what's happening on your laptop? Can I check? Can I check your Zoom cache? Can I check your data? This is without DEX. Now, with DEX, what Jason would get is something called investigate. Jason would basically go in here and look at the investigate, and he notices automatically that there is an app crash that happened on Ken's laptop at 1040. And he sees the current version of Zoom is 5.2, which is an older one. And then there's a latest version of Zoom, which is 5.3. And he notices that the cache on Ken's laptop, the Zoom cache, the application cache, increased before the crash happened. And the connectivity of that particular Zoom fell. Now, he also notices that there is a recommendation provided by DEX indicating that Ken was part of the latest OS patch, which is a Mac OS upgrade. And also, there was another article indicating that from the, it is mainly coming from the Zoom website, that the latest version of Zoom is prone to crash on Mac OS laptop. So in this case, Jason has two signals. Now, what he wants to do is he wants to update Zoom. So before he kicks off update Zoom, he's going to talk to Ken. So he's going to reach out to Ken on Team Collab Chat in Service Operations Workspace. And he's going to talk to Ken, hey, Ken, I want to update Zoom on your laptop. Right? Simple. He wants to make an, uh, make an update. Now Ken says, yes, go ahead and update Zoom on my laptop. Jason is going to update Zoom on his laptop. The, once the upgrade is complete, Jason is going to reach out to Ken and confirms that, you know, hey, this 5.3 version of Zoom, is it working or not? Now in this case, Ken says yes. Right? Now the incident is closed. Jason is happy. Ken is happy. Now let's get to Amanda Smith. Amanda Smith is an IT workplace agent. She's responsible for managing and maintaining all the end user devices, right? Now she starts her day by going to digital end user experience console inside the service operations workspace. So this gives her, it's a cockpit for her to give the visibility and the experience across the globe and across the locations. Right? Amanda, you know, it's a cockpit. When I say cockpit, it is basically she can see that active users, active devices, active users, 250,000 users, 
260,000 devices, and she notices that there's a Zoom crash that has happened in this particular region. Simple use case, right? Now you can see that Amanda hovers over. She notices that there's a Zoom crash impacting this particular region for 1,002 users, and it is happening in Florida. Why 1,002 users and why Florida? She wants to know more, right? So Amanda, she's going to click on this in, uh, card. It brings her to Zoom dashboard of DEX, which indicates that, hey, there is a Zoom crash that happened this morning on Mac OS laptops, right? And also, there's insights. We call it as DEX insights, as you can see, um, indicating that the update Zoom has to be done for all these employees to 5.3 version. But she doesn't want to update. Right? Now she sees a two, two more signals here. The late, all these employees were part of latest OS patch. And also she sees that there's an article from Zoom indicating that the latest version of Zoom is not compatible with Mac OS patch. Now she wants to validate those two signals. She goes to and clicks on Show Diagnostics on Update Zoom. And she notices that there is an a, you know, OS upgrade happened this morning. And she start, you know, there was a Zoom crash that happening on that all those OSs and operating system. There was a spike of Zoom crash. And 5.3 version of Zoom, there is no Zoom crash. So she immediately has the data. She has validated, hey, is it, the, it is the OS version and the latest version of the Zoom, basically 5.2. Now she goes ahead and clicks on Update Zoom for all the 1,002 users, which in turn, will kick off a workflow, and it will basically in, send a notice to all the employees, hey, we, we saw an older version of Zoom on your laptop. We, ha we, want you, we want you to upgrade. So it basically sends a notification via desktop assistant product. right? All, let's say most of the employees notices that particular notification and click that. They'll immediately notice that, hey, we have an older version of Zoom on your laptop. Please upgrade. Let's say most of the employees say yes, and they go and upgrade their Zoom version. Now, once the upgrade is complete, the desktop assistant is already integrated with your virtual agent, is going to ask all those employees, hey, is the Zoom version is working for you? Let's say most of the employees say yes. Now, after a few moments later, Amanda is going to come back to our Dex console. And she notices that the incident is not there. And she also notices, and she wants to validate whether our remedial action has been effective or not. And it has been effective coming from the feedback that she has received from the desktop assistant. And as you can see, 90% of the employees have said, hey, it is working. So Amanda is a hero as she was able to proactively detect the issues before thousands of employees complained about that issue. And she was able to remediate that particular issue. DEX is basically an AI ops product for your end user devices. It can proactively detect issues, and it can automatically create alerts and incidents so that your IT becomes proactive than being reactive. It's not just applications that we monitor. We even monitor device, a battery, even the Wi-Fi that we get collect hundreds of metrics into the system. That could help you to create alerts. With that, I want to end my demo. Um, I have eight more seconds. I will take one question. Go ahead. Yeah, it's Chromebook. Yeah, it is. It is compatible with Chromebooks by end of this year. Right now, we are. Uh, you know, it is compatible with Windows 10, Windows 11, Mac OS, Monterey, Katrina, Big Sur, any operating system, any application that runs on it, and we even monitor SaaS applications as well. What? It, it, it basically runs as a local system account on Windows. And it basically uses, um, uh, it needs admin privileges on, or root privileges on Mac. It's available. Yeah, it's available. So it is available on Utah if you want to test it. I can basically you know, work with me to basically enable your instance with a DEX product, and basically we can test the product. Yeah. Cool. Good.
you can whitelist any applications to monitor, and we will start monitoring. It can be installed app. Let's say zoom.exe is a process name for the installed app. You just provide that, and we will start monitoring that particular process. If you want to monitor SaaS apps, just give us the domain or the URL. We will start monitoring the SaaS apps as well. And we collect different metrics for installed apps. We collect crash rate, restart rate, cache size, call connectivity for Zoom, basically. We collect like um, CPU usage, memory usage, and so on and so forth. For SaaS apps, we collect response time, page load time, uh, failure requests, and so on and so forth. I can give you the list of metrics that we collect. Even for the device, we collect hundreds of metrics. It, it, we, don't, we don't restrict that. You can do as many monitoring every five minutes you can bring the data.